All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft. Dot 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 with dinosaurs. It has been a while. It has been a while, but I'm feeling better today. I'm very. My back is doing reasonable. I can play for extended amount of uh, time now, not like 15 minutes or half an hour, and be all done. No, I can actually play for like couple of hours straight so I have been playing off camera I've been playing a lot off camera I need to unload some stuff cuz can we run down the stairs please thank you um, yeah I, I there's stuff we need to achieve today there's stuff we need to achieve <laughs> I I am running out of storage space I'm running out of places where I can just plonk down chests and um, yeah it's it's getting out of hand it's getting out of hand it's really getting out of hand we we need to fix this we need to address this and we need to figure some something out we're gonna work on storage but before we get going right on the way it is time for everybody's favorite show on the YouTubes cooking with Kara. So, as you might have noticed, I'm eating apples and that is not doing it. So, I thought we would make some pot roast. I think, I, I think, I think. No, not that. There's so much stuff you can do with beef. Well, maybe hamburgers, they are pretty filling as well. But I settled for a meaty stew. No, it wasn't meaty stew. It was pot roast. I'm pretty sure. Pot roast. There it is. Three ham hogs and a whole heap of saturation. So we're going to need stock, potatoes, beef, carrots, and a pot. I think we have the pot. Yep, we have the pot. Now we need stuff to make um, stock. So what do we use to make stock? He... We have whole heaps of stuff. Can we use lettuce to make stock? I'm not even sure anymore. I thought I had stock, but uh, must have used. Uh, maybe we maybe we can make stock with cucumbers. Oh yes, yes. We're gonna need a stack of stock. A stack of stock? Can you say that three times very fast? Well, almost a stack. Cause yeah, we get three. Store this. Put that back. Right, stock acquired. Now we need raw beef. Um, yeah, <laughs> needless to say, I've uh, ridden the world of some bovine in my hunt for a letter to make the book shells. So yeah, I have plenty of beef. Now we needed carrots and potatoes. Potatoes. So let's make the meaty, no, the uh, pot roast, pot roast. So we needed carrots, potatoes, and beef stock. And we can make pot roast. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that delicious? It's, it certainly sounds delicious. But yeah, back to the topic on hand. I was going to show you guys what we were, have been up to in this world. So I need my Dinopedia, and I have absolutely no clue where I left the dang thing. By the way, I've been enchanting. We have a fortune pack. That is something I want to do with you guys as well. Fortune are diamond ores. It's good that I'm looking in here, so I remember. But still, no Dinopedia. Um, did I put it in here? Yes, there it is. Very good. Organization key. Organization is key. So, let's first look at our dinosaurs and then we'll look at what I have accomplished over the past couple of days here. So, we're going to break in here. I still have no decent way of entering this uh, enclosure, by the way. <laughs> look at that. Our little friends. They have grown. They have grown quite a lot. So let's grab the Dinopedia and have a look what this girl is up to. 
Oh, she's very hungry. 50. I don't think they're eating from the uh, from this thing. Although, yeah, I don't know. Let me... 41.50. Hmm. I have no clue. I don't think they're eating from it. By the way, I've placed all of the trees in here. Went for big spruce trees with little ones combined. This... Oh! That thing is almost... It's its dying when... Can, can I feed you apples? I think I can feed you apples. Ah, yes. Oh, that was just in time. Oh, it's minus 25. Oops. We might need to work on their moods as well. There's certain toys we can make for the dinosaurs. So they can be all happy. There we go. Both very full in health. As you can see, their age is 20 now. Um, yeah, they've, they've, they've been living for a little while <laughs> due to me playing here, luckily. Oh, look at that. This one is 64. It's only 80. 80? Why do I... How is one older than the other? They were both hatched on the same day. Oh, well. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, plonk. Plonk. Be happy, guys. Be happy. Totally forgot to check in on them, and they almost starved. But yeah, I've been um, clearing out a little area here. Uh, as you can see, I've almost gone through a shovel and um, almost gone through a pick. Well, actually, I went through a pick. This one is repaired already. And yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be something. It's going to be something. This is going to be a Leopluridon exhibit. We're going to make a aquatic, um, aquatic exhibit here. That's what that's the word I was looking for. Um, also extended the boardwalk here already. It now it, it stretched to here through the stairs. I finished this section all the way down to here now. So we we're going to continue going through here then wrap around and follow this exhibit all the way there that's the way uh the water is gonna run in this world and for the rest we're gonna just get rid of it also dug out the entire area here flattened it out repaved everything with dirt so it looks all nice and uniform now really like that and i placed the lamps i've gotten a bunch of glowstone in the nether and I made all of the lambs up here, so this area is nice and illuminated at night. Now we can sleep. And we're going to have a look at toys for our dinosaurs. Um, at fossils, there's a toys for the dinos. I think there's a tire swing or something, log swing. I don't know what it's called. Tethered log. I think that is a toy for the uh, for the dinos. And uh, there should be more, I believe. There should be more. Reinforced glass. Dense sand. Oh, that sounds interesting. Um, and you and you bite no. Pretty sure there's more toys for the dinosaurs. But we can make a thudded lock to see if they uh, like that. Yeah, I'm 100% I'm certain there's more, but I can't see them at the moment. Thought there was like... A, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe the thudded log is what I'm thinking about. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Tooth dagger. That sounds interesting. Um, ah, yeah, yeah, the scratching post. Look at that. So that's just wool, slab, and a stick. Okay, let's make both. So we're going to need five wool. Luckily, we have plenty of wool. We need a little bit of string hitch. And we needed sticks. I have sticks on me. We needed a slab. 
and we needed this. Um, let's go for oak because that's the one we have the most of. So, tethered log. Let's see, we can make two. Nice. Scratching post. We can make one. Maybe we should make another one. I think we should definitely make another one. We have two dinos, so uh, yeah. Oh, look, look, look. No, no, no. I want it to slap, slap. Because we want to improve the mood of our dinos. Because, yeah, I don't want to be attacked when I enter that exhibit. Right? So, uh, <laughs> not looking forward to that. Not looking forward to that. So, let's eat our pot roast. Nom, 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 nom. And let's go to our dinos and surprise them with their new toys. Um, I'm going to go in here. Bonk. I definitely need to work on a... Uh, oh, by the way, I also changed this. This is all uh, dirt and coarse dirt. I want to get some... What's that stuff called? It is not... Um, it's a Minecraft block. Can't remember the name, but I want to get it. it. It usually spawns in the area where, the, where these trees grow. Uh, but yeah, I want to get that and just... Uh, put that in here so what can we do with this can we just hang that here no can we plonk it on the ground no can we hang it here ah yes oh look at that They're actually playing with it that is pretty cool that is pretty cool we have another one let's put the other one down here if we have a tree that's suitable Oh, we can just plonk it down here. Doink. Oh, look at that. He also played. She. She. Sorry, ladies. Sorry. Forgot you were girls. Hunger's going down pretty fast. <laughs> the mood is rising. That's good. That's good. We want our dinos to be in a very good mood, right? So let's plonk one more down here and we'll do the other one on the opposite corner in the front think here let's see if they interact with that as well how is your mood girl how is your mood how are you doing today Look at that, 100. It is so happy. It will not attack me. This one is giving the, the thing hell. But the mood is riding. It's 35 already, so that's good. That's good. It works. It works. Anyways, for the next segment of this episode, I'm going to work on my storage system. Um, we're going to combine everything into the storage storage system we already have so we can access everything and just keep expanding our storage uh, so we can uh, yeah you know be access our stuff from pretty much everywhere pretty much everywhere so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on a separate hidden room because yeah that's something we don't want visible in our world uh, we need some easy access though, so I think what I'm going to do is um, make the staircase down here and just go with a ladder down maybe, I don't know yet, but we're going to use more of this stuff. Uh, as you can see, I've been analyzing a lot of DNA, and I actually have one, where is it? Okay. Um, a hundred percent certain I had a parasaur larvas. There it is. We have one parasaur larvas DNA, so we can uh, yeah start to incubate that, and maybe hatch another dino this episode. That's gonna be awesome, right? We're gonna have a mixed exhibit of parasaur larvas and um triceratops maybe even 
Maybe I'll switch and do Stegosaurus with the uh, Parasaur Larvas and put in Ankylosaurus with the Triceratops. I'm not 100% certain yet. But anyways, I'm going to make the parts required for our storage system and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I have a lot of stuff prepared for what I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, as you guessed, we're gonna go with storage drawers combined with chests to fix our storage is issues here. So um, we need to make one of these. I had all the stuff pre prepared. We need eight of these. And yeah, I have like half a stack of drawers. So now I'm going to work on digging out the area that we want this stuff set up. I don't want it too far away from our uh, initial stuff that is just basically down here, I believe. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we definitely need to make sure that we keep in this vicinity. That's why I said, I think what we're going to do is make a little access area there maybe yeah go down a couple of blocks and just dig out this area and be all happy about it so first things we're gonna fix the floor here that looks immediately a little, little bit better and we're gonna go in here and i think what we're gonna do is just dig down like this the floor level is here we're gonna go one more down, yeah, so we can have plenty of room to set up our storage. And it's just gonna be a ugly mess. I don't have any interest in making this all pretty, being the prettiest thing I can imagine. Uh, we'll, we'll fancy it up a little bit, make sure it looks clean, but that's about it. Anyways, I'm gonna work on that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome back. I have been busy. I have a storage system. Look at this. Did, how did something end up out of here? What? Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I ended up with a stack of crickets in my in my inventory. Well, oh well. But yeah, this is how it looks. Don't worry. We'll fix... Uh, We'll fix up the room, we'll fix up the room. We'll make this look a little bit better. Let's... Okay, I, th I hope everything still works now. <laughs> After that message. Should, it, it, it should still work, it should still work. But yeah, ended up with a ton of storage drawers, like I said. Um, actually gonna make four more for this side. Um, compacting drawers here we have the uh, the master here that's the best part of this system if you do the master and you just right click on it everything that can be sorted in here will be sorted but there's no need for us because we hooked it up to our main system with this uh, whatever it's called again <laughs> I, don't, I, I forgot the name I forgot the name oh there, there it is the storage link cable yeah with the storage link cable we hooked us up to our system and yeah now it uh, stores everything isn't that nice made a couple of gold chests while we're at it this wall will be uh, entirely filled with gold chest eventually there will be one more row here and one more row here then we have 16 and then if we run out of space we can continue on this side awesome right i think this is pretty awesome don't even think we need access to the room just let just yet but yeah pretty cool pretty cool i like it i definitely approve of this storage so now all that remains is just to go about go to all of these chests fill up my inventory with all the crap we accumulated over the over the uh six episodes that we're playing yeah i can't believe it's only been six episodes 
I really thought it would be more by now. Well, it it, it feels like more with the, with the amount of stuff we achieved here. Pretty cool, right? I'm really appreciated. By the way, grass block. I killed an enderman that was carrying a grass block. So let's just go about and start dumping all of our crap in here. Torch can go in. Yeah, and, and we should see our chest slowly filling up here. I hope slowly because, oh, look at that. Ample of storage left. Yeah, and it, it just targets one chest. So it's it's pretty intelligent, the system. But yeah, I'm going to put stuff in chests. And I'll report once we cleared out everything, hopefully. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I have been extremely busy, extremely busy. Look at all the guff we collected over the six episodes here. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> You're always amazed to see what kind of crap you can accumulate over the years, right? Same as if you're buying a new house and you have to move. Uh, yeah, you're going to find out just how rich you are. So, um, setting up two more gold chests here for now. And I think I could use a torch. If I was smart, I would build me one of those um, interface thingy doofers down here. But I'm not. <laughs> Access panels, terminals, whatever. But I'm not smart. I'm not smart. Um, what did I need? I needed torches. I'm pretty sure I had a torch in here. Just one. But okay. That'll do. That, that will do. So let's quickly put a torch behind this wall. I'm going to leave it open for now, just in case I need to access it. But yeah, that is pretty cool, right? Cool. We have upgraded storage and we have neatness. We have accomplished something. So for the last segment here, I'm going to grab my Ankylosaurus egg. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and grab our... Fossilpedia? What, what was it called again? Book? Ah, uh, can't remember. Let's have a quick peek if we can spot it. Dinopedia. There it is. We got it. And we're going to grab us some wheat or potatoes or carrots or whatever. Let us... I don't know if those guys eat. Let's grab half a stack of lettuce and let's grab half a stack of potatoes. Right, we're going to go in our enclosure and we're going to hatch our third dinosaur. We're going to hatch an Ankylosaurus. Um, yeah, they, they are pretty neat dinos. I like them. Definitely, definitely like them. think... Uh, if, if, if I'm talking favorites here, Ankylosaurus and Stegosaurus, they are high on the list of my favorite dinosaurs. I like them. Let's uh, quickly have a peek. There shouldn't be any baddies in the enclosure. So we're going to sneak in right here. Close this thing off. I don't, I don't know the hitbox. Come here, girl. By the way, I made new armor, and it's uh, still the same. If you shift. <laughs> yeah. Could be that it's always been the case, like in vanilla as well. But I'm just... Woo! Yawn. I'm just noticing it now. Um, it's pretty hungry. I might have to turn off... Uh, them getting hungry pretty soon. Okay, that's good. As long as we can keep up, we're going to feed these dinos from time to time. 
just to keep him happy. Let's see how this one is doing. Extremely happy, but also getting pretty hungry. And it's full. Awesome! Now, let's go about and hatch an Ankylosaurus. There we go. It is warm, it is hatching, and I'll see you guys in a bit. We have movement, we have movement. It's almost time to welcome our newest addition to the park. Ankylosaurus. Look at that. Oh, this thing is a lawnmower. <laughs> Holy moly. That is pretty cool. So we have a male Ankylosaurus, also an, a herbivore. Uh, otherwise, it would not be wise to put this thing in here. But, oh well. Oh, look at that. He, he's playing with his friends already. Look at that. I'm, I'm having a feeling that this Triceratops is stuck here. But we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, Ankylosaurus. Awesome. More dinos, more fun, right? Indeed. But yeah, that's unfortunately it for this episode. Um, sorry, no time lapse, but I wanted to do something different. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed me hearing me talking. If not, well, sucks to be you. Uh, I'm kidding. But yeah, hopefully... Uh, Next time we can work more or have this enclosure finished so we can ha welcome even more dinos to the uh, to the park here. But yeah, for now we'll have to do with these three. Let's see if we can shove this Triceratops out of here. I think it just chooses to be here. It's stubborn. Ah, oh, there it goes. It's moving. It's moving. Ankylosaurus still happy and about but yeah hopefully you enjoyed I had fun I hope you guys did as well and yeah if you did enjoy yourself leave a like comment or subscribe if you have not already and on that note I will say thank you all for watching take care bye bye